So I'm, I'm Bob Erickson, and this is our uh, photovoltaic power system and power electronics laboratory. Uh, the students build standalone solar power systems that have a, a photovoltaic panel. They have a they build their own circuit that's microprocessor controlled and uh, uh, extracts the maximum power out of the solar panel. Um, it charges a battery, and then they have an inverter that makes 820 volts AC that uh, you can plug in and, and AC load. Uh, so the students right now are demonstrating their systems and they're, uh, we're, we're having a competition to see who can build the most efficient system that can extract the maximum power out of, out of the sun. Unfortunately today it rained, <laughs> but uh, we're simulating the power system indoors and doing the best we can. Uh, last year we had sun and we, we actually ran it outside. It was, but, but still this shows, uh, you know, this demonstrates the systems and shows what they can do. 1.35 amps. Um, sweet. Are they all set? Yes. There's only a group that have a set So let's, if they're set, then turn them off. Turn your supplies on. Okay, let's uh, start recording. Blowing air across it to keep it cool at this point. <laughs> We're just trying to get that one extra milliamp. <laughs> The winner by a whisker looks like the Dirksen and Klein group. Yeah. Very diligent in making circuits um, all semester long. And then we changed the circuit from the true sine wave to the modified sine wave to get that extra little bit of efficiency. And we tested it outside on Tuesday so that we made sure that everything works.